hi guys welcome to my channel before i get started i just wanted to say thank you so much for the comments they are encouraging and informative and i really appreciate them in this diy tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this swarovski crystal butterfly shoe so if this is something that you'd like to add to your wardrobe stay tuned and i'll show you what i use to get this look for this project i used e6000 glue butterfly ribbon fabric tack, and a pair of tan heels. I also use these Swarovski crystals to decorate the butterfly, 5SS in jet hematite, 7SS in sun, 9SS in topaz, and 12SS in light silk. In order to establish this butterfly pattern onto the shoe, I used this ribbon. So I cut off a square of the butterfly ribbon, cut the butterfly out, and then I'm gonna attach it to the shoe. So I'm gonna attach all of the butterflies, or at least a couple, and show you what that looks like. This is what the shoe looks like now that the butterflies have been added. I've glued them on, and now I'm gonna begin decorating. I didn't add a lot of butterflies because it's a really big design and once I add the crystals, it's gonna look, it's gonna be loud. So I just kind of wanted it to look like this and just have a couple and then if I need to add more, I will. The one thing I wanna suggest is that you make sure that the butterfly, if you do use this kind of idea, um, is completely glued down because you definitely don't want this to fall off with all the crystals on there. And as you can see, there's like a little lifting here. So I'm just going to make sure that it's super secure and I'm going to start adding the crystals. This is the design so far. I really love how it's turning out. It's not exactly, exactly a monarch butterfly, but it's as close as I could get. So I'm gonna finish this half of the butterfly and check back in um, and show you what it looks like. This is a progress check at the halfway mark. This is the completed butterfly and I really, really like how it looks. It looks so pretty. I love how the colors turned out. Hopefully you can see the difference. Um, I put the sun crystals up here and the topaz on the bottom and then I just added a couple of light silk ones. So I'm gonna keep going. I am going to do this butterfly next which I haven't started adding the crystals to and show you the final result I just wanted to take a moment and show the butterfly in natural light so that you could see again how the different colors of the crystals play into the 
different colors of the butterfly. Uh, this up top again is sun and then on the bottom I have topaz. In the center I have a couple of light silk crystals and then you know on the outside as well to play on the monarch look. And I just love the subtle difference of the crystals to make the butterfly have more depth and definition. You could also use lighter colors if you don't want your butterfly to be as bright. I kind of didn't realize that it would be this bright, but I love the results. As a reminder, this is the unfinished shoe with no butterfly detail. And this is the final result. I really love how this turned out. I just think it's so pretty. And I might even do a matching wristlet just to show you like in more detail how I added the crystals. Uh, the butterflies are not exactly the same because I ran out of the smaller crystals. So I ended up using some 16 SS on this butterfly. But I just think this is so pretty and a really easy way to make your shoe pop. And it's so easy when you use ribbon as a design. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a really, really great week and I will see you next time.